guys we have been here at Fort Wilderness for over a month a month and a week or two and we still have another few weeks to go before we uh, leave so we've become pretty familiar with all the surroundings so I thought I'd just talk a bit about um, some of the layout here and some of the amenities um, starting with the actual park let me show you the map here so here's the map of all of Fort Wilderness and it's pretty large um, this is probably about one mile just to give you an idea from top to bottom here in a straight line so to get around um, you pretty much have to use golf carts which they rent they're all over the place and you always get stuck behind them driving or um, bicycles we use the bicycles a lot um, it's too far to walk to most places um, but an interesting thing about so if you look at all these numbers here like 1600 1300 1000 these are all what they call the loops so like the 500 loop it'll be you know spots 512 1513 etc and they have different names for the loops we are currently in loop 100 which i i think is one of the most sought after loops primarily because it's right i mean you can see it's as close as you can get to the boat this is the boat to magic kingdom and the other resorts pioneer hall where they have the hoop de doo review and a restaurant a really nice playground um so it's that you can walk you just walk right there um we were fortunate to get this uh, what we found is everyone makes their reservations way in advance like i think it's over a year or 500 days or something and, and everything books up you know everyone does that because you can cancel up until I think five days out with no penalty at all so what happens is everything gets booked and you know you, you can't pick a spot when you book but you can say what your preference is for like what loop and one mistake we made is um, when we made the reservations just told them oh yeah we want full hookups well, this is kind of dumb, but they have this area down here is actually called their full hookup area. So like this is full hookup and then this is premium or preferred and then this is preferred and then this is something else. And there was a miscommunication that like the full hookups, every spot is full hookups, every single spot, but there's an area called full hookups. So if you say you want the full hookups, you're going to get stuck down here in no man's land. Now, fortunately, when we checked in, they had spots open up up here. And so we were able to move up to this 100 loop instead of being stuck down here. Um, but it's something to be aware of. And then what happened is you can only make a one month reservation. So we made a month reservation up here. And then our second month, again, we were going to be down in full hookups. So five days prior to being to this to the second month, Jess just had to keep calling and calling and calling to see if anything opens up because since everybody makes their reservations over a year out and they don't have to cancel to within five days, you can't, like checking two weeks out is not gonna be very helpful because most likely it's still gonna be packed. It's still gonna be full. But then within say five days, that's when the people have to call to cancel and say, oh, we're not gonna be there. And so Jess was able to get two straight months in this 100 loop. So we're pretty happy about that. A couple of random notes uh they sell like in the they sell these refillable soda and coffee and tea cups up here in this restaurant with free refills it's 20 dollars and you get free refills we don't do soda because we don't drink any sugar water really but if you're like a coffee or tea drinker i'm usually not a proponent of you know these sort of gimmicky oh pay a lot of money and you get free refills but if you're like us where you're gonna stay here for a month or two months oh you can get you know, free coffee, not free coffee, but $20, you can have all the coffee you can drink for the entire month or two. You know, I think that deal was meant for people that are gonna be staying for a week, but it's certainly more beneficial if you're gonna be there all uh, for a month. The one thing, one thing I'm not a big fan of um, about uh, Fort Wilderness, and it's not so much Fort Wilderness as the Disney World area, is that since Disney World is so large, the closest grocery store is literally about 25 minutes away in each direction. Just because it takes so long just to get out of the park, you know, out of Fort Wilderness takes like say 10 minutes to go down here because it's 20 mile an hour limit. 
and then you have to drive all the way out of the park, get on some bigger roads, get to the grocery store. So it's kind of a pain to, to go grocery shopping. It takes a little bit of effort. Um, and that's kind of a bummer. I mean, they do have a little general store here, but you know, there's just a few little items in there. One interesting thing is, man, everyone, there's so many people here that love to decorate their RV and their RV site with lights, with Mickey Mouse stuff, with like Christmas lights and stuff. And I heard that around Halloween, it's even crazier and Christmas time. Um, but even right now, there's just, I mean, people come with their own like columns, these <clears throat> giant Mickey Mouse columns, signs, placards, lights everywhere. Um, it's kind of neat. It's pretty cool. Well, that's, that's about it for the map there, but let's go take a look at some of the amenities that they have around here. This is our little spot, by the way, or the view from it. And then on the other side, just some more trees. Nice and spacious, though. Okay. All right, you ready to show everyone? All right, let's show us where the playground and boat is. Look, we have two other airstreams here. So here's our spot. And we have one, two, three. Three airstreams, that's right. All right, show everyone where the playground is. Okay. How close it is. Come on, chop chop, I'm following you. And there it is, there's the playground. This building right here is a general store with little odds and ends you can buy. Beyond those trees right back there, that is Bay Lake and the boats. So right there is where you catch the boats to the Magic Kingdom and the other hotels. Livia's favorite place here, the playground. And right beyond the playground, there's some buildings there that there's a restaurant there, takeout food, and also the Hoopty Doo Review. The general store or trading post, I guess, I guess it's called. Let's go check out the boats area here. That's the boat there to the Contemporary Hotel. And the boat to the Magic Kingdom comes right there. You can rent these pontoon boats and these other little speed boats. And the Magic Kingdom and the Contemporary Hotel is just beyond that island right there. And they're building over here more hotel rooms. Let's go check out the pool. Looks like pork chop. Mom and Logan are already here. Yeah, I'm gonna watch you. Okay, show me how you swim. Okay. Hey, that's my dad. Hey, buddy. You gonna swim to mommy? Oh. Very nice swim arms. Wow. And look at this little guy. Go, buddy, go. All right. Can you show me how you jump in? That's the water slide, which for some reason isn't open today. 
but it has been and Livia's been gone down it a million times. And I've got a nice little splash pool here for the kids. And there's an arcade. And plenty of room for everybody. And the water's pretty warm too. It's nice and heated. So, kids like that. Okay, I say bye bye. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Some shuffleboard courts. That right there is where they do the Chippendale show every night. So a comedian, some singing and guitar playing, roasting marshmallows and hot dogs. Chippendale come out and then they actually show a movie. And then they actually show a movie on that big screen there. Come on, let's go to Chippendales. Let's check out those male strippers. <laughs> Happy and you know it, stop your feet. Everybody ready? Say yeehaw. Yeehaw! You put your left foot in, left foot out, left foot in. Shake it all about. Do the hokey pokey, turn yourself around. Your whole self in, whole self out, whole self in and shake it all about. Your butties. I take picture of mommy's butties. <laughs> and her beautiful hair is fireball. Mayo. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. I'm not tired. No, we're not ready to go yet. Oh. Okay, wait. Oh, I get this down. Cheese. Everybody say smile. 